Tidal power or tidal energy is harnessed by converting energy from tides into useful forms of power. Its energy production is still in its infancy. The amount of power produced so far has been small. There are very few commercial-sized tidal power plants operating in the world. The first was located in La Rance. With a peak rating of 240 megawatts, supply very little power. The largest facility is the Siwa Lake Tidal Power Station in South Korea. Produces 553 gigawatts per hour of electricity annually supporting a city of 500,000. Tides are caused by the gravitational forces exerted on the Earth by the Moon, and to a lesser extent, the Sun. The three different methods to generate tidal energy, tidal streams, barrages, and tidal lagoons. Tidal Stream System For most tidal energy generators, turbines are placed in tidal streams. This is a fast-flowing body of water created by tides. Placing turbines in tidal streams can cause severe environmental impacts, depending on size of turbine and site. Barrages System With a barrage, water can spill over the top or through turbines in the dam because the dam is low. The environmental impact of a barrage system can be quite significant. The land in the tidal range is completely disrupted. Tidal Lagoon System A tidal lagoon is a body of ocean water that is partly enclosed by a natural or man-made barrier. The environmental impact of tidal lagoons is minimal. The lagoons can be constructed with natural materials like rock. Advantages Predictability Longevity And high power Unlike the wind and sun, the power of the tide is predictable, knowing the cycles that the tides follow. The equipment used to capture tidal power is built to last around four times longer than wind and solar farms. Tidal power plants can generate a lot of energy even at low speeds. Only requiring 2.2 miles per hour to generate electricity. Disadvantages, cost, environmental effects, and gaps between tides. Building tidal power plants is currently pretty expensive. For example, in Australia, a 5 megawatt plant costs $34 million. Tidal power plants aren't always good for the environment around them, as they disrupt the pattern of fish migrations. The power is not constant. We know that the tide goes in and out twice a day. Only about 10 hours per day when power can be generated. 